every year the Environmental Working Group's Shopper's Guide comes out, and it lists the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15, and a guide to pesticides and produce. There are regular appearances made on both lists by a number of fruits and vegetables. But this year, the USDA data revealed a surprise cameo, and that was raisins. And you can see grapes at the number six spot here. So let's talk about the truth about raisins. It was the first time since 2007 that the U.S. Department of Agriculture included raisins in their test for pesticide residue, and the results were shocking. Of the 670 conventional raisins sampled, 99% tested positive for at least two pesticides. On average, each sample was contaminated with more than 13 pesticides, and one sample had 26 pesticides. Now, the working group did not add raisins to the Dirty Dozen list of pesticide-tainted items because the organization does not include processed foods, even minimally processed foods like dried fruit in the report. But because of the heavy pesticide load that they discovered, they decided to see how raisins would stack up against fresh produce, according to Gillian. After running a new analysis again, they found that if raisins were included in the Dirty Dozen, they would rank number one by a wide margin. Raisins would rank higher than fresh grapes, which rank sixth or seventh. The bottom line, he writes, is this. Raisins are one of the dirtiest produce items you can find. And even some organic raisins are contaminated. According to the USDA data, pesticides were generally detected less frequently on organic raisins than their conventional cousins, but not always. For some pesticides, there was no difference between organic and conventional raisins. Bifenthrin and chloropyphyros were detected about as often at comparable levels on both conventional and organic. Among other pesticides, 77% of organic raisin samples were contaminated with bifenthrin and 62% with ticobuconazole. Both chemicals are developmentally neurotoxic in animals and are classified by the EPA as possible human carcinogens. Because of wide-ranging spraying of pesticides in conventional agriculture, some of these pesticides may have drifted from nearby farms and actually get on these grapes. But are there any alternatives? So let's just cut to the chase. Organic fruits and prunes. Ultimately, for consumers trying to limit their dietary exposure to pesticide residues, organic foods are a better choice than conventional. And prunes, whether organic or conventional, would be an even better dried fruit option. Prunes had far fewer pesticides than both conventional and organic raisins, according to USDA tests. Now, obviously, if you own a farm, you can grow your own grapes and make your own raisins in the sun. And if you have plum trees like I do, you can make your own prunes. And maybe we'll do that next year and we'll make a video. I hope you got something out of this video, the truth about raisins and pesticide. I wouldn't eat them, period. Would you?